LeBron James is making it clear he has one foot out the door with the Lakers. Whether he heads back to the Cavaliers, or to go play with his son Bronny, LeBron James is not ending his career with the Lakers. The only thing left to be determined is when exactly he'll leave. A few hours ago, in a story about LeBron James continuing to throw shade at the Lakers and their front office, I wrote that the Kings comments praising Cleveland for having three all-stars, Cavaliers Darius Garland, Jared Allen, and himself, were taken slightly well, it turns out that may have been premature. Because not long after, in an exclusive with longtime LeBron chronicler Jason Lloyd of The Athletic, James basically announced he's returning to the Cavaliers at some point. Now the only question is whether another picture could go up there again someday. Could James actually return to Cleveland and play for the Cavaliers a third time? The door is not closed on that, James told the Athletic Saturday following the East's team practice on the campus of Cleveland State. I'm not saying I'm coming back and playing, I don't know. I don't know what my future holds. I don't even know when I'm free. James, of course, is a free agent after next season. He is tethered to the Lakers for one more year. After that, buckle up. As a minor aside, I don't even know when I'm free, like the Lakers have him in basketball prison and he's unaware of how long his contract lasts for has to be one of the funniest lies James has ever delivered with a straight face. I really wish that interview was on video. Just incredible deadpan delivery by such a seasoned thespian. But yeah, things have been heading this way for a while. Our own Anthony Irwin and ESPN's Jorge Sedano predicted this exact news cycle in a podcast on Wednesday. It was only a matter of which outlet James would drop these breadcrumbs this entire loaf of bread to this weekend while in Cleveland, not if he would at all. And if it's not the Cavs he's returning to, he is going to go play with his son Bronny, who will be draft eligible in 2024. But at this point, it's hard to see him being on the Lakers by then anyway, so any concern about that as far as it pertains to this team is basically moot. So James continuing this air out session in public is making it crystal clear just how unhappy with the situation he helped create, but that latter reality isn't something he seems eager to take responsibility for or take into account while planning his inevitable exit. And it's hard to blend their first ever title and then came to Los Angeles to do it again. Not expecting him to do so again was foolhardy and ignorant of who James has always been, especially after things have gone so poorly this year. The only question now is when exactly James is going to leave. We'll have more time for full retrospectives on the LeBron, Lakers era when it's over, but will the end come this summer? Will he ask for a trade? It's hard to see the team moving him if not given how they want to be perceived as catering to stars. But if they don't deal him back to Cleveland this summer, will he just leave the next offseason, when he'll be an unrestricted free agent? Would he really want to waste one of his final years as a part of this mess? Because if there's one thing we've learned about James it's kind of incredible to think about considering that James won a title in Los Angeles approximately 15 months ago. But that's where we're at. No sense in pretending otherwise at this point, even if James surely will when he feigns annoyance at being asked about this later, as if he didn't know exactly what he was doing when he dropped this bomb to Lloyd, and the previous little grenades in his public all-star media session. And with James having one foot out the door, the 27-31 Lakers appear headed for a rebuild sooner than just about anyone expected, with almost no draft picks until 2027. So whenever James leaves, if one thing is clear, it's this things are probably about to get really, really ugly, both on his way to the exit, and afterwards. The one title was still probably worth it but there is going to be some pain for it as the Anthony Davis trade bill comes due over the next few years. How the team is able to pivot without the greatest player of all time to help them will tell us a lot about whether this ownership group is really worthy of any of our faith, or if things are here from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.